Hallo iedereen. So hard to think. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Testing, testing, testing. That was me just a few weeks ago. Yeah, after a year of learning Dutch, still having some problems. But this is also me. All the potpis in a piss pot pissed. Heb je een piss pot? Vol met pot pis pis. Sometimes, when I feel like I've got this language under wraps. And that's pretty much how I felt on this one year journey of learning Dutch slash Flemish. At times I felt overjoyed with the progress I've made. At other times I felt really frustrated that I've plateaued, that I don't know anything at all, when in fact I know that I do. But what I always come to realize is that this is part of the language learning process. I'm gonna encounter those kinds of things. So this video is gonna talk about my journey from January 1st, 2019 to 2020, January 1st, my one year journey to learning Dutch, to becoming conversationally fluent. First, let's take a step back. About a year ago, uh, when I started getting ideas for this project, I was approached by a company called Drops. They are a uh, language learning app that basically makes learning languages fun. And there's dozens and dozens of different languages. There's a really attractive UI, so it's fun to play. And you don't have to commit too much to it. It's just kind of this thing that you can play five minutes a day and learn some vocabulary in a target language. So we had an idea to see if I could learn as a memory champion all of their words in their database, which was about 2,000 to 2,500 words in the target language of my choice. Now, I chose Dutch, not the most common language to choose, uh, because it's, it's part of my family, it's part of my roots. My mother speaks Flemish, which is a sort of dialect of Dutch. The Dutch or Flemish will kill me for saying that, but it's essentially the same written language pronounced a little differently, different idioms, different expressions, of course, but more or less very similar language. So if you look at some of my older videos, you'll see me accomplishing this feat, getting tested by my mother. Yes. It was a really great experience and a good challenge for my memory because I can memorize a lot really quickly, but in a foreign language and that many words over time to really know them, you know, deep inside my brain so I can recall them when I need them, that's not, the simplest of tasks, even for a memory champion, but I was able to do it. In 90 days, I was able to memorize all 2,500 or so words. But it didn't stop there, of course. I wanted to become conversational in this language. And knowing 2,000 words, no matter how many words you know, you won't be able to converse with anybody. Schoolbendraaien, mess, bom. Schoolbendraaien, mess. Copy. Part of this journey really was to get closer to my mother and her side of the family. For 35 years of my life, she's spoken that language to her sisters on the phone. We've been to Belgium many times, but I never picked up the language. We also spoke French at the household, my father's French, so that's the language I actually grew up on. A lot of people out there were asking me, well, your parents suck. They weren't teaching you any languages, but that's not true. They were teaching me French. So once the 90 days were done, we kind of had this phase two idea between Drops and I, and that was to continue learning, but now with studying and with practicing and all the things that might go into your typical language learning process. They teamed me up with a platform called Preply, and basically it's an online platform where you can choose your tutors and hire them and do sessions online. I found a great tutor, her name was Karina. She was uh, actually Flemish, but spoke Dutch, spoke Greek, spoke Portuguese, spoke, she spoke dozens of languages, it's crazy. So since about April, uh, till about late November, I was taking lessons with her sometimes once a week, most times twice a week, sometimes even three times a week. And I've been studying through her, speaking with her, listening to her. Of course, I'm doing dozens of other things, reading articles, news, books, children's books. Here is your mama. Nay, die kleine ou. That is mama niet. Mama heeft grote ogen. Uh, listening to podcasts, listening to kids' cartoons, watching kids' cartoons. Anyways, here we are, 
December, end of the year, where am I? How am I doing and what's in store for me? So one of the ideas we had was at the end of the year, we were gonna send me and my mother to Belgium where her family is and see how I do. Can I understand my family? Can I talk with them? What would happen? Would I feel closer to that side of my family or would it feel as bizarre and not a part of me as it used to? So my mom and I went to Belgium a couple weeks ago and here is what that trip looked like. Het is bijna een jaar geleden sinds ik begon met Nederlands te leren. We zijn hier om familie te bezoeken die ik in jaren niet meer heb gezien. Ze spreken niet zo goed Engels, dus zal het een goede oefening zijn hoe goed mijn Nederlands is. Ben je klaar? Ik ben klaar. I love seeing that. It just makes me feel, I don't even know the words. Um, it's an interesting thing. And this is kind of what I wanted to talk about as the new year rolls around. You know, learning a language, people have all sorts of reasons for doing that. Whether you've just moved and you need to know it for work or you just want to be able to speak another language to impress your friends or someone or a girlfriend. Um, or maybe like me, where you have family from that place and you want to not only be able to speak with them, but to really connect with them. And at the beginning, I really thought it was just about speaking and understanding them. That's it. But as I sat there with my family, some of whom I'd never met yet, um, my cousin's kids who I hadn't seen, I hadn't seen him in 20 years or so. I just couldn't believe that there I was, a part of this family, a side of the family which had never really felt like a part of me. And I understood them and I was laughing with them. And we reminisced about memories that we had together and you know, I was able to feel that. It was crazy, it was a surreal experience and I just stepped back out of myself and I just couldn't believe that learning a language could bring all that to me. And I'm not fluent by any means, but it really felt like there was something fluent in me at that point. And um, that really hit it home for me that everything I'd worked for in this year, granted I'm not perfect uh, in my language learning and what I've learned, I could maybe learn more, but I, was, I felt really successful. I felt really proud of myself uh, for coming that far and putting myself in that situation. So what's next? Um, am I done with Dutch? Not at all, right? Uh, I've made quite a bit of progress in the past year, but my journey to full fluency is nowhere near done. Uh, it's gonna be something I'm gonna continue working on throughout this year and the next and so on. Uh, you'll see some more videos of me talking with my mom so you can see some um, awesome improvements as they happen. I have some ideas for enrolling myself into different Dutch slash Flemish courses, continuing with my tutor online on Preply and every once in a while getting through my drops apps words to keep those words fresh. So going into the new year, I hope that this video inspires you to get started on your own language learning journey. Um, it doesn't have to be through drops or preply, but um, really finding that why to why you would like to learn uh, a language and to really committing to it. 
That's one thing I did this year is every day I put a little bit of work into it. Even when I didn't feel like it, I did it and uh, it paid off in the end. There were some days where I felt like what I was doing wasn't helping at all, but when I was sitting there with my family at the end of it all, it really felt like it came through. Thank you guys so much for following me this last year, for enjoying some of my videos. I got a lot of new subscribers, especially from the Netherlands. Thank you, Val. If you like this video, if you like where I'm coming from, if you like the kind of content that I make, which is typically about learning and pushing stuff related to the mind and memory, then subscribe, please. I would make my day. I love you all. This year has been amazing. It's really been I'd say a breakout year for my channel. Thank you all who believed in me and I will see you in the next video. As I like to say, I'm out. <laughs>